Hey crafters, so today I will be doing a uh, Princess Tiana's inspired tutu and this is for a five years old baby girl and her birthday and um, is like in few days and she decided she wanted to be Princess Tiana and as you guys can see I have two colors here because I want to do a mixture of colors I haven't done that in my on my channel yet but um I thought I should do this so you guys can know how to do the mixed colors of tutu so as you can see this is our regular stuff that we always do you want to make sure you um, fold your two and make sure you arrange um, the two ends just to get a perfect tutu so that when it's time to sew your channel you don't have a problem because if you don't sew it the right if you don't arrange it um, you will have issues with your channel so you want to make sure it is arranged real good and um, so you can have a flawless tutu so basically you guys already know um, what to do so um, this tutu is for a five years old I'm not sure if I already told you guys but the mother wanted me to make a four years old tutu because she I showed her my my chart uh, sizing chart and she said she preferred a uh, for t tutu size so the baby girl again is five years old so i am going to be making a four years old tutu for her so of course four years old tutu size is 20 inches long then when you fold it into two it's going to be 10 inches long so if it was a five years old it's going to be 21 inches and uh, long and when you fold it it's going to be 11 inches um long so but um i will do the other um color off of camera because it's just the same thing the same way i am doing this as the same way not not nothing special so that's the reason why i'm just gonna do that off of camera so i don't keep you guys just watching the same thing over and over again <laughs> So as you guys can see I have a measuring uh, mat on the floor and you realize I'm not even trying to measure nothing because the inches the yard for each of this color is like six yards each and I'm making like um, a really fluffy tutu so it's gonna be a 12 yards um, tutu so it's gonna be really really full and fluffy so that's my aim so with this um, so why I still why I have the mat on the floor even though I'm not using it is because when I'm done I am going to measure the size that I want you can see I have my measuring tape on the floor but I rather use the mat because it makes it really really easy for me when I'm doing my measurement and um, and if you know you cannot afford the mat because it's on the pricey side I would suggest you just use your measuring tape because that's really cheap that's way better in my opinion if you cannot if you don't want to spend too much money but um so I am gonna be cutting 20 inches long like I told you guys because this is for a 40 um, this is gonna be a 40 tutu but um so it's gonna be 20 inches long and remember when you fold it it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be 10 inches long so um, I'm not a straight cutter <laughs> I should have used a, a ruler but um, well it's gonna work deep in the shadows I know it's hard to put one foot up another the other uh -huh. so far is the echo where do we start as you guys can see, there's a thread I'm gonna be using, and that is a mint uh, lemon. What am I saying? Mint green <laughs> that I'm gonna be using. I bought that thread from Walmart. I usually get my threads from Walmart. So, and um, those threads are kind of pricey. They are like close to three dollars. And um, so this thread that I'm gonna be using, I'm just gonna be using just this one for the two colors. I am not gonna double. I'm not gonna be changing um threads so you may want to make sure you save your scraps because that's gonna be very very helpful so you guys already know the process so all you need to do is to make sure that um 
you arrange your tool in a way by you can fold it that's all i'm trying to do here so that it, it i can work with it because um if there's any wrinkles or if it's just hard if it's not straight it's going to be hard for me to create a uh, flawless tutu the channel is not going to come out really good so that's the reason why folding it and making sure there's no wrinkles is very 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 important in order for you to have a flawless tutu um so anyways i'm just gonna let you guys watch because you already know what i'm gonna be doing for those of you that are new to my channel hey welcome to my channel crafters or potential crafters i am happy to have you guys here this is a place where we do diys crafting and crafting and crafting i love crafting y'all if you love crafting like me let me know in the comment section because your girl oh my gosh my i'm, I'm taking over the whole house in my in my house i'm taking over everywhere and i'm like uh my husband is like y'all things are everywhere <laughs> can't help it that's what crafters usually go through like we always take up everywhere in the house so but anyways um like i said um if you're new to my channel welcome to my channel it's nice to have you guys and i try to post videos twice a week and um thursdays and sundays and um that's because i have a lot of content to provide for you guys and sometimes if i cannot make this two two days in a week i will make sure i shoot out uh a shorts that's the youtube shorts so at least you get something from me in a week so so at least you can get two videos if i can speak in a week so always watch out for my shorts and also my regular youtube videos so it may be a combination of the two um shorts and all the regular youtube videos so always watch out for that and um just know it that i'm gonna be providing um valuable content for you guys so go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet and hit the notification bell so you can know each time i post a video because um i have a lot coming for you guys like i have a lot coming back coming if i can speak <laughs> for you guys so but anyways, uh, for those of you that are not a new subscribers, you've been, you know, hanging with me. You've been following all of my videos. I appreciate every one of you. Thank you so much for your love, your likes. I see all of that. All of your comments. I see all of that. When I see your likes, when I see you guys are making comments, it kind of um, encouraged me to do more. Like that kind of give me a push. So... I love all those likes when I get them I, I you just put a smile on my face so this is how we create our channel so um the beginning part you want to make sure you always lock your writing for y'all um, but anyways um you want to lock it up for those of you that are that new um you don't know um, and you know you guys really seen exactly sure what I did for those of you that are new to just watch here. So and you will you'll see exactly what I'm your doing. Into so here I am creating a channel. Um, so when you start creating your channel, you want to make sure when you start sewing in, in general, you want to make sure you lock your long and that's for your and beginning um, part. Sure that is holding on to whatever knob you have on your machine and lock it up before you go ahead and sew. Make sure you have and um. So here I'm just you know creating my channel that you're gonna be using when you finish measuring. You make sure so until when you get to the end. And when you get to the end you make sure you lock lock it up as well so as you guys can see i've done a lot like um like i told you guys it was six yards of each color so um i i i am done with the um lime green green the green one the lighter color and um now i just have this one left and i'm almost there that's 12 yards y'all in total so we are gonna see the fluff and all of that do not miss out on that fluff <laughs> so you can know at least what six um 12 yards um look like and you will determine what exactly you want for your business but for me it went from 40 and up I think 12 yards is the best because I love my tutu to be fluffy. That's the beauty of tutu. When it's fluffy, you know, yes, it's, um, you know, it makes the baby just look so pretty. <laughs> so now I'm just locking, locking, locking it up so you don't unravel. That's what I was talking about in the beginning part. When you start, you lock it up. When you end it, you lock it up. For those of you that know 
um, how to use sewing machine, you know what I mean. And for those of you that have been watching my videos, you know what I mean by you locking, locking it up. But anyways, now I am just going to go ahead and um, do a little bit of cleanup and um, and start sewing, going on to the next step. So this first step or the second step that I did is what I call my foundation. So foundation is um, sewing the, um, what they call it now, the channel. <laughs> I lost my thoughts but um creating the channel is your foundation so that's my second step but anyways um, I'm gonna proceed and get to my third step which is going to be putting putting the rebounds and that's the fun part I love putting rebounds if I can actually have somebody sewing you know doing the step one and step two for me that would be great and I'm gonna take over from there because um, I just love putting ribbons. I love sewing the ribbons and it just make me when you start putting ribbons You see the beauty right away. So anyways, this is the ribbon I'm using. I bought it from Hobby Lobby and um, I bought like um, as you can see three of that uh, one I'm using and that is like two inches wide and I'm gonna be using glitter so um, those those glitters they were maybe $2.99 at Hobby Lobby and the other one is $4.99 each so what I'm talking about each so when create when putting your first ribbon for those of you that are new to my channel or that don't know how to sew tutu yet when putting your first ribbon you want to put pretty place facing down pretty place facing down your first ribbon and any other ribbon that you put is gonna be pretty place facing up so um, I hope that is helpful because um, you don't want to put a pretty place fit you don't want to put a pretty place facing up that's not gonna work with your first ribbon so but anyways um, now I'm gonna go ahead and um, lock my sew and lock it up so go ahead and sew hold on to that knob and lock it up and go ahead and start sewing so i'm just gonna let you guys watch it is um something that you guys already know for those of you that have been watching my 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 that have been watching my videos and for those of you that already know how to make tutu you know this is just gonna be like reputation nothing um different if you want to fast forward it's fine and um i'm just gonna keep on sewing and when sewing just a tip for you you want to make sure you straighten your tool you don't want it to have any uh, wrinkles because um you don't want the tutu to end up looking like it has like um you know um wrinkled part like wrinkled you don't want it to look wrinkled when the child wears like put it on so you want it to look really really good so you want to make sure it's flat basically <laughs> so i kind of zoomed in so you guys can really see what i'm doing so i'm just gonna let you guys watch the rest of it without talking through it <laughs> Admit that you're just afraid. Let go of all your fears and pride. Stand up beside me. Don't you hide. We can build a better place if we can just find a way that we can live a better day. Then we can live a better day. excited i'm done well <laughs> with that piece now i got the next one to do <laughs> i'm not 100 percent done but uh i'm happy 
but anyways um you know i already told you guys i'm not gonna change no thread so the thread is something that um goes with the ribbon so that's perfect it's okay as long as the thread that you're using is gonna go with the ribbon um then you should be fine so basically that's the same thread that i used to create the channel you guys saw that and that's the same thread i'm using because everything i'm using here is green so that's the reason why i just like decide to use the same thread for the whole tutu here in the shadows, I know you're scared Take my hand together, we'll make a stand We've got to fight to find a way Dare to fall to find our words to say No more hate Just admit that you're just a
the ashes, from the anger, from the war. Let's come together, lift your spirit for the cause. We should be equal, should be living free, all together, one and all. Alright, so now it's time for me to put my second ribbon and this is a glitter. I bought this from Hobby Lobby. I am pretty sure I already told you guys that and just an FYI when using glitters be sure that you are gonna have glitter all over the place. It is really crazy. You're gonna be glittered up. So just be careful. I seen a uh, I actually seen a review on Etsy and they gave someone a review and it was a bad review just because of the glitter and the customer wasn't feeling it because she said the glitter was all on the baby's face, the husband, everybody that come close to the birthday girl had glitter and the mom was not having it so she was irritated so just be careful with glitter so, so that don't mess your business up. But anyways, when sewing your second ribbon, make sure it's pretty place facing up and um, you can see how I am doing it. So basically the ribbon that um, I sewn the first ribbon, I did a pretty place facing down. So when I'm done, I grabbed it and flipped it and now put the glitter on top of the second ribbon on top of the first glitter and i made sure it is pretty place facing up so just an fyi so you guys have an idea on what is going on but uh for those of you that already know you already know the steps you already know what's up with it so what that is just for those of you that are new to this channel that are new to uh, making tutu but anyways um i am just gonna go ahead and keep on going and um i'm so excited about this tutu like i'm super super excited about this tutu i cannot wait to see how it's gonna turn out so you guys just stay tuned and make sure you always lock your um when you're done sewing make sure you always lock it up you see how pretty that is so now i'm gonna get on to the next one <laughs> not done yet i wish i am but um, I'm getting close to it and I will be done very soon. So, <laughs> Ooh, 12 years, yards are not easy. Like, talk about 10 yards and you're like, oh, that's a lot of work. I mean, 12 yards is a lot. So whenever I'm doing 12 yards, I just like, just, just get my mind right. And I'm ready for what is in front of me. So um in my head i'm like i should be charging more for um 12 yards that's the one from 40 i should be charging more i haven't made up my mind i have to put my numbers together to be sure that uh, i'm actually making profit um and revisit everything again because um just for the rebombs that i'm using i spent like 24 dollars just for those rebombs and i use like three of each so that's like um each of them had like four yards in each so four times three that's 12 so that's a lot of money so i spent 24 dollars like i told you just on ribbon but on the two i spent probably 12 or no less no more than 15 dollars so when you calculate everything is like what am i even gaining the, the profit is not even much so i'm really you know revisiting everything i'm trying to put all my numbers when it has to do with making tutus it gotta make sense for me to keep on doing this because i don't want to have to you know just be wasting money so make sure you guys i'm just telling you guys this so you can make sure you get your numbers right or if you guys have a place where i can get a cheaper a place i can get everything on wholesale let me know because i'm looking <laughs> All right, your girl is done. And I used everything as you can tell, like everything. So I'm excited and you can see, I'm just trying to tell you guys it's five yards, actually not four yards on in that, um, what they call it, in that ribbon it was actually five yards. So 
I was kind of <laughs> I was kind of confused I'm like how come I still have a lot of um, I had a lot of ribbon left on that glitter so I was like I want to be sure if you know they gave me the right yards because I requested for six yards each so your girl was going back and forth forgot that I had 12 yards in total and the three rebounds that I bought was 15 yards so mentally my mind I don't know what I was thinking but just ignore me y'all <laughs> so this is the fun part here so this is where I am going to you guys are not seeing me do so each in order to get all those pieces to be different colors and all those colorful tutu that you guys usually see I am cutting this tutu in different strips so each of them is gonna be one yard each and 36 inches make a yard so for those of you that don't know and um, I am gonna have like six pieces of tool in my hands because that's, a, that's six yards so I measured um one yard each for each of them so i'm gonna repeat the same thing on this other one so it's gonna be um six yards and when i measure my first yard i just fold the rest of them so they can um so i don't have to use my measuring tape anymore and that will give me six yards and when i'm when i get my six yards all i need to do is to cut it and um, this is very time consuming when you're mixing it up i'll just tell you that for sure um it is very very time consuming so you want to actually um make sure you're charging what you're worth in my opinion because it can take a lot of time if it's just a single color tutu it don't take a lot of time but the mixed colors tutu i'll tell you this it takes a lot of time because when you cut each of them you have to now start sewing them together but with the other two two you just sew the you know the two loose ends and call it good but unfortunately with this one you gotta sew everything like so each of the piece another option you have you can just go ahead and rather than doing one yard each cut i'll say do two yards so you don't have like 12 piece of um yards in your hand so that's just my opinion because i said the same thing to me i'm like why the hell did i do one yard each because this is gonna take forever so as you guys can see i am you know doing my cleanup as i go like each time i sew i clean up i sew i clean up so when you sew it together make sure it's the two pretty plates facing each other and you go ahead and sew it so but anyways um this is gonna be very time consuming so i'm just gonna let you guys watch this and uh, see what i'm doing <laughs> as you guys can see the two ribbons are not matching each other because i did not place it right so you want to make sure your placement is right so i was just trying to show you guys so um I, I, my, my camera is blurry there we go i noticed that and i fixed it thank god but anyways um so just wanted to let you guys know the purpose of cutting this is for you to mix the colors together so i grabbed like the dark green and the light green together and so i make sure they are like facing each other and when i get on the next one i do the same thing i make sure you are facing make make sure you have the both of them facing each other so that you don't sew backwards and end up taking off everything and starting all over and another thing i just gotta let you guys know is make sure you don't sew your channel because look at me struggling with my channel <laughs> i kind of got into it i'm like oh lord that wasn't a good experience i was struggling but anyways i got it together and what i'm doing is each time i i'm done i you know cut it and uh, i just do my cleanup while i go so this is very time consuming you guys already know i already told you guys this is the last one i got in my hand Whew, thank god <laughs> 
like I couldn't wait to be done. I'm like, why the hell did I put myself into this? They did not ask for this. I'm the one giving extra. So, whew. but anyways, it was worth it because the kid was happy. The mother was happy. Everybody loved it. So, my uh, mission was accomplished. <laughs> That's the way I see it. So, being the last one, um, I just wanted to show you guys in detail, like, so you guys can really see. Make sure everything is true, right? And make sure you get your back well stitch while sewing. And um, your girl was struggling here because each time I try to sew my 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 bobbin ribbon, not bobbin ribbon, but my machine was acting up basically. So there was a struggle here. And you can imagine being the last one is like can i just finish but my machine was acting up Whew, that was something i did not like like all the while everything was going good and all of a sudden now you're just gonna start messing me up i just want to be done i'm so tired <laughs> but anyways i got it together but um make sure you always get your backwards stitch and um, make sure while you're sewing you have your eight pieces in your hand four from each color and make sure you sew everything together and do not get into your um channel <laughs> don't do that don't you do that you will not like it you will not like the experience Oof. girl is done look at the way i just pushed my sewing machine like i'm done <laughs> This is cleanup time so if you guys can see i have some tool um picking through the ribbon if you guys can remember my um beginning part where i was arranging and um folding the tool that's my step one i told you guys my my cut was not straight i knew i was gonna pay for it so this is a payment so that's what i was talking about so whew. So any step you take and any um, mistake you, you make, you will end up paying for it at the long run. So I knew I was going to pay for this. So I just decided, you know what, it's time to just take care of it. So I decided to share that on camera with you guys. So you guys know sometimes there's some struggles that I go through. <laughs> There's some errors that I make as well, so everybody makes um, error. Everybody usually, you know, no one is perfect. We make errors. We we perfect ourselves. So that's just something that I know for sure. I'm not good at. So I'm just making sure I'm using my lighter to, you know, um, to lock each of the 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 sewn parts. Remember, I saw that. So I what am I saying? remember each of them i did not use my lighter <laughs> to lock it so i'm just doing the heat lock with my lighter so you will definitely need that handy phew if i can speak so girl is almost done but um i'm gonna just let you guys watch and see all i'm doing <laughs> but um just an fyi I'm still going to use my sewing machine for one more thing. I'm not done yet. So remember, um, I had two, two um, ribbons that I added to my tool while I was sewing. You don't want to leave that open. You want to make sure you lock it. So that's what I'm doing here, making sure I lock it so that everything can go flawless. So everything can look real good but guess what i did i did it the wrong way so i gotta take it out because i did not do it right so that wasn't good look at i had uh i had it like like um i don't know how to explain it but um i did not i did not sew it in the right spot that i was supposed to sew it so i had 
loose end um basically so i was just i i just had loose ends so i was supposed to sew it exactly at the tip of the ribbon where it's open i hope that really makes sense your girl is so tired <laughs> But anyways guys, um, that's all I'm just doing here. Making sure I add those two open ends. And I'm going to do that for the other side because I have another one. So the other one went really smooth. But this first one I was struggling. So I'm not going to edit all this part. I just want you guys to see all my struggles as well as my success. So that's, that's it. So you guys can know sometimes things will not always go right so don't just give up you're not the only one going through it everybody else are going through it they just don't show it or not everybody that see what they're going through so i don't know why i'm saying this but um i go through struggles as well while i'm sewing this um when i'm sewing my tutu so i'm also sewing the glitter everything gotta you know the open part gotta be sewn together but anyways, I'm just going to let you guys watch and um, yeah, have fun. <laughs> y'all so know I what I'm about to do. I'm about to put the band in the skirt and y'all know that is my favorite thing to do. And this... I am this is supposed to be for a uh, um, 5t but the mom said she wanted me to make a 40 skirt for the child so um, for 40 skirt I am gonna be doing 18 inches long I'm kind of changing my waist size because I'm trying to figure out what works because um, yeah so I'm gonna do what did I say I was gonna do I was gonna do 16 I'll do 16.5 because when I um, sew it I'm gonna lose um, half an inch so I'm gonna do 16.5 so just add 0.5 to whatever size you're doing just because um, you will have to what do you call that now you will have to sew it up so I do overlap it so that's the reason why I kind of make keep 15 inches what am I saying not 15 inches 0.5 inches so you guys know how I always do it there's nothing um different so I'm gonna go ahead and give it a pinch here this is the one I'm gonna run through the skirt and I have my other um, pin this is the one I'm gonna attach on me so other people do this different but I just love to do mine this way because that way I'm not gonna lose it in the process so I got my tutu so this color is so beautiful I never knew I was gonna you know like this color because when I saw it at the store I don't know why I did not try to get it and make tutu with not until I got an order for it and I love it, I love it, I love it. So you guys already know, um, you look for the middle and I'm gonna go ahead and start putting it through. This is the most easiest part of it, like, Can I have some more ice cream? yes, this is the most easiest part and um, I love to do this part, like who wouldn't want to do this part? Like. The hard work has been done and this is a part that you just relax and do it just making sure I have my middle so you know this an um, attachment here there's a different I have a different color of tool here so I'm making sure I'm putting it in the right hole and you guys don't have to worry about this two ends you do not have to worry about it just leave it the way it is and it's gonna be fine so some of you already know but for those of you that don't know you don't have to worry about that so in most of my videos I may sound like I'm repeating myself 
that's because I um, because of the new people people that have just found my video so I'm trying to help them as well so if I if you realize that I'm repeating myself I'm saying the same I'm saying the same thing um, please ignore that because it's just for it's just to help those that are new to this oh. I gotta redo this pin. Oh. I was almost losing the pin. There we go. So I think I'm gonna just do this off of camera like I always do. Come back and show you guys how we look like when I'm done and I'm going to also make um, the bowl for it so that's what I have left and this tutu is supposed to be picked up in two days I give them Sunday today is Friday but I'm already done the shirt is something I can do tonight and basically tonight I should be done with this project but um, I I can give them this project tomorrow, but I'm not because I want to use tomorrow to take pictures for my website and for my Etsy store. Hey guys, so this is how this um, tutu came out. It's so beautiful! I am so much in love with this. This I you guys saw exactly how I did it, and um, she definitely turned out good. If um, this uh, turned out good, all I need for you to do is give me a thumbs up um, and go ahead and share this video with someone you think you know who need this information. Um, this is ready to be um, packed up for the owner. So you guys let me know what you think. Your tutu came out good. I am so much in love with everything. And there we go. So excited. Bye. -bye.